bismillahir rahman rahim so we have this problem here if v1 is equal to minus 10 sin omega t plus 30 degrees volts and v2 is equal to 20 cos omega t minus 45 degrees volts find v is equal to v1 plus v2 so if we add these sinusoids uh, in the time domain it's a quite a difficult operation so uh, uh, the easier uh, method will be to first transform these uh, sinusoid into the phasor domain then add them there and then uh, find the result back convert the result back to the time domain so v1 is equal to minus 10 sine omega t plus 30 degrees so we must first uh, transform into the standard uh, sin uh, sin uh, sinusoid function so that we can find the phasor and both the phasors are represented correctly so uh, this will be v1 is equal to 10 cos omega t plus 30 degrees uh, and uh, plus 90 degrees here why for this uh, consider uh, this uh, graphical function here uh, this graph here this is cos omega t this is uh, minus cos omega t here minus sine omega t here and plus sine omega t here so we are at here at minus uh, uh, sine omega t right this function is minus sine omega t plus 30 degrees so uh, if we come here to this minus uh, sine omega t for an equivalent uh, uh, cosine function so we need to add plus 90 degrees so we added plus 90 degrees here right so this v1 is equal to this is sorry 10 here right 10 cos omega t plus 120 degrees uh, and this v2 is already in the standard form v2 is equal to 20 cos omega t minus 40 degrees here and both these uh, sinusoids have the same angular frequency right so in the phasor domain this v1 is equal to 10 angle 120 degrees and in the rectangular form because we have to add them together and addition is easier in the uh, uh, when the complex numbers in the form of uh, uh, in the rectangular form so this is uh, 10 cos 120 degrees plus j 10 sine 120 degrees right so so this v1 is equal to uh, we can use calculator here uh, this cos uh, 120 degree is equal to minus 1 over 2 and we need to multiply it with uh, 10 so this is uh, minus 5 and sine 120 sine 120 degrees is equal to under root 3 over 2 and this uh, multiplied with uh, 10 comes out to be uh, 5 under root 3 or 8.66 so this is uh, plus j 8.66 volts this is v1 now so similarly uh, v2 is uh, given by 20 angle minus 45 degrees so that will be 20 cos minus 45 degrees and uh, 20 cos 45 degrees okay and we put the minus sign here minus j 20 sine 45 degrees so v2 is equal to uh, cos 45 uh, multiplied by 20 that gives us 14.14 right 14.14 and this will be minus j and sine 45 is the same add, uh, as uh, cosine 45 and we have a 20 multiplied by the same thing here so that will also be 14.14 volts here so we have both uh, v1 and v2 in rectangular form so we can add them together so v1 plus v2 let it be equal to v bar and that is equal to minus 5 plus 14.14 right this and this here 
प्लस जे एट पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स माइनस फोर्टीन पॉइंट वन फोर ही राइट सो वी बार इज इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव प्लस फोर्टीन पॉइंट वन फोर दैट इज इक्वल टू नाइन पॉइंट वन फोर राइट एंड दिस विल बी माइनस जे फोर्टीन पॉइंट वन फोर माइनस एट पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू फाइव पॉइंट फोर एट volts so we have uh, this in a rectangular form this should be converted into polar form so that we can find the corresponding sinusoid right so 9.14 squared plus uh, 5.48 squared and uh, we need to find the square root for this so that is equal to 10.65 uh, 10.66 Ten point six six, and angle is ten inverse uh, minus five point four eight uh, minus five point four eight uh, minus five point four eight divided by nine point one four, and uh, we need to find the tan inverse of this, and that is minus thirty point. Nine five degrees minus thirty point nine five degrees, right? And uh, we can now find the corresponding uh, sinusoid for this. So VFT is equal to ten point six six cos omega t minus thirty point nine five degrees. So this is the resultant sinusoid. Uh, which we obtain after the addition of these two sinusoids. So uh, uh, this is a simple algebraic operation in the phasor domain. But if we do in the time domain, it will be a quite difficult uh, mathematical operation.